I ended my term in 2010 and uh, and then uh, after my term as a congresswoman, I have gone around the Philippines. I have built 179 livelihood projects in 179 towns in the Philippines. When you put a waste coconut husk into the machine, then lumalabas yung fiber, which you can uh, twine and weave into coconut. And this is used for repropping, and it is 80% cheaper than cement. And then uh, a private development company uh, buys that para sa kanilang slow protection. 70% of the waste coconut husk will turn into a fiber, but 30% will be what you call coco pit, mga granules, which you can uh, turn into organic fertilizer or charcoal. Very good source of charcoal. It's the grandparents of these present parole makers who started making parole. And then uh, they make this parole and uh, every December they sell. We are the Metro Manila capital of parole. Hindi na lang for Christmas. So, uh, whole year round, nakakagawa sila. There was this uh, blanket weaving center in Abra, and they came here and taught us, and so we were able to make blankets. Then uh, it's our women who who make the blankets now, and we, we don't buy anymore. We use it to give uh, as assistance during uh, flooding and during a uh, fire. The garden waste. Uh, we turn into organic fertilizer by using the vermicomposting. And that's the most expensive organic fertilizer. But the other kind is the one coming from kitchen waste. Yung mga bumabaho nating mga extra na pagkain. So we're now processing the kitchen waste of 30,000 families. And we are producing right now 35,000 kilos of organic fertilizer every month. We give them away to the farmers kasi uh, mahal din ang bumili ng organic fertilizer. There's a, a poor community at the back of this, and they are, are the ones we're employing. We taught them how to weave water lily out of uh, water lily stalks. Turning waste paper into handmade paper, then we manufacture citronella massage oil from the citronella plants that we plant along the river banks. I don't think I can give them all employment, but I, if I build one, then I can inspire the others that it can be done. Uh, let's say if you build one in the 1,600 cities and on the average you employ 50 families, then you will be employing around 75,000 families. And uh, I think that's a, that's a very good goal in helping our people overcome poverty.